Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. It seems these days my dehydrator is working overtime. Yes, another dehydrator recipe. This one is inspired from High Carb Hannah. If you do not know High Carb Hannah, if you do not follow High Carb Hannah, what are you doing? She's amazing. This recipe is hers. It is ranch flavored kale chips. These are out of this world. These are the best, best chips I have, kale chips I've ever had. Well, that was like a big old jet that went by. So the first thing we're gonna do is make the dressing and I'm just gonna make it all in my um, Nutribullet. So let's go over here and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, so in my bullet, I already have juice of half a lemon, okay? And then we're gonna put in a chopped up medium zucchini. I've got three tablespoons of hemp seeds. And then I've got garlic powder, onion powder, dill, and salt. I'll put the exact measurements on, in the description box. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of water, maybe a tablespoon, just so it helps blend. Because uh, you don't want it too thin, otherwise it won't stick to your kale. So, let's blend this up. here. Now I've got my kale already washed and prepped. I took the stems out. You can use whatever kind of kale you would like. And about a, about a head of kale. And you just put it in a bowl. And then we're going to pour some of this delicious ranch on there. Look at that ranch. Woo! And then you're just going to get in here with your hands and you'll add more dressing as needed. If you have any left over, do not despair. This is great on salad, it's great to dip veggies in, it's great on tacos, so it will not go to waste. So let's just massage this in, and you want it really well coated, each little leaf here. Oh yeah. think that and you can see how coated it is that's what you want all right I'm gonna wash my hands and we'll go on to the last step okay so you want to line your little rack from your dehydrator and you could do this in your oven too I'm just not really sure what temperature we would do but anyway so just dump your kale on here. And what I learned from Hannah is it's okay if they're not all a uh, single layer. Actually, that's better because you get these nice little clumps. So just spread it out best you can. If you've got some that are, you know, on top of each other, not a problem. So I'm going to stick these in my dehydrator. These will go overnight. Um, Anywhere from like one, I've done it at like 115, 120. Uh, it just depends on your um, your temperature of where you are, where you live, um, your humidity. I mean, if you live in the desert, they're gonna go quicker. If you, and I live by the beach, so sometimes that takes a little longer. So we're going to throw these in the dehydrator. And then this leftover, uh, Ranch dressing, I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it and then it'll be perfect for my salad tonight. So I will see you back in a few. I've got some that I've already made and we will give it a taste. So here are some ranch kale chips that I made yesterday. Absolutely delicious. Crispy, mmm, ranchy, perfect, no oil. Whole food, plant-based, ticks all the boxes, so good. I hope you give this one a try. It's good for you, it's good for the animals, and it's good for the planet. 
And remember, what you put on your plate determines your fate. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I post a video. I will also link all of High Carb Hannah's information in the description box. So please subscribe to her on YouTube and follow her on Instagram. She is amazing. Until next time, thank you.